your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to the men. Welcome to a toast to the men with your guy S.D. Booker. Today we got Wednesdays with Yaya, my lovely, beautiful, intelligent wife, Yaya. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Good. Doing great, blessed. Man, today's topic, can women handle rejection? Mm. Can y'all handle rejection? Mm. You want to kick it off? I can kick it off. You kick it off. Uh, the short answer, uh, generally speaking, no. No. Women, generally speaking, right. women cannot handle rejection. Yeah, there, there's reasons for that. Uh, what? Both sexes, men and women, experience and what we don't experience in life from a very young age mm -hmm. into adulthood. Just some things y'all have not adapted to and y'all don't face. Mm -hmm. And so when you are faced with rejection, you don't know how to handle it. You're right. That's an important point because um, like growing up, mm -hmm. as we're growing up and we're being told no. Right. We don't like to be told no, even as a child. Right. And that's carried over into relationships. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but even as a child, I think girls are told no less than boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just thinking back, uh, my own kids, my own children, when they were young, uh, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> man, may, maybe, uh, I can count on one hand the number of times I told my girls no, but I've told my boys no many times, like many what, times. Why, why do you think that is, or what? I mean, that that is the uh, that is the dilemma we face as men all the way up until adulthood, and I talk about this a lot. Men have to practice not being tricks mm. to the feminine energy. Right. It has nothing to do with sex. I'm talking about my daughter. But to the feminine energy, mm -hmm. men want to give. We want to give. We'll go through a wall. We'll sell drugs. Mm -hmm. We'll rob. We'll steal for that feminine mm -hmm. energy, to give back to that feminine energy. We'll right. do some crazy stuff. Men will kill. Men go to jail. Men commit suicide. Just crazy stuff to, to uh, please that feminine energy. Uh, and you know, that, that, that happens with our daughters. So we rarely tell our daughters, no, we tell our boys, no, mm -hmm. in a heartbeat. But yeah, even if we don't have it, we'll make it happen. If the daughter wants something, right? Right. That's, that's just how it is, mm -hmm. man. And, uh, I mean, I can think back, I was maybe in the second grade, <clears throat> Had this little girlfriend, if you want to say that, you know, crushing on this puppy love, crushing on this girl. And uh, <laughs> my mom's friend had came from in from out of town to mm -hmm. stay with us for like a weekend or just a couple of weeks. She had placed her diamond ring on the dresser and I saw it. Mm. Man, I, I, I stole the diamond ring. And gave it to this little girl. Yeah, gave it to this little girl. Wow. Uh, so the woman noticed her ring was gone. Mm -hmm. You know, they questioned, tracked it down back to me. I told, I didn't even know the value of this ring, man. I just knew it was pretty, it was shiny. Mm -hmm. And my little girlfriend would like it. <laughs> they tracked it down. Went to the girl's house, spoke to her parents, man, got the ring back. Wow. That's in the second grade. I didn't I didn't get the ring for me. I wasn't even thinking about selling the ring. You got it to please her. I got it to give to this girl mm -hmm. in the second grade. Wow. Brothers been going, we go through this as soon as we notice. I started young. The, yeah, as soon as we notice the female species, you know, we, we go through these kind of things, man. We we fight over girls at a young age. Do some crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, some crazy stuff. So, 
at a young age, we're told no, we're rejected. We're rejected by females. Mm -hmm. Y'all are rarely, rarely rejected. Right. Were you rejected often? No. <laughs> See? That's what but I'm saying. I, 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 I'm I, saying with your parents. With your parents, were you rejected often? I got more no's told to me from my dad than my mom. And if I needed something or asked for something that he thought, you know, could wait, mm -hmm. or wasn't important, you don't need that right now. She would later on that night, maybe some hours later, give, it give, to you. give me the money for it. Wow. Wow. So yeah, I never I never experienced that. <laughs> my nose my nose no. That was that was it. Yeah. My, my no was no. I I was told no a lot. Or or uh we'll get it next week. Or wait till I get paid or something. And mm -hmm. that never came. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it, I, it was different. It was different for me. But I think women, I think girls are are rarely rejected by boys at a young age. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The thing with y'all, this is the thing with y'all. Even, uh, we'll say this, I'll say this, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, for one. And, you know, uh, it's, it's uh, subjective. But, even if the young girl is not deemed to be attractive, right? Mm -hmm. Even she is not rejected often. And even she will have some guy or guys creep with her on the down low. True. Right? I've seen it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But when a boy is rejected, oh, that's it. That's it. She she won't creep with him. If she rejects him, she won't creep with him on the down low. On the down low. Or there may be some payola involved or some gifts involved, the way she, she'll do that. But I'm just saying just straight up, nothing exchanged. Mm -hmm. Ain't no creeping. But even the most unattractive, deemed the most unattractive woman, can get, can get, uh, can have relations with a, a, a decent looking man, a nice looking man. There's somebody, a few guys that will creep. There's a few guys that will creep. But who's creeping with the guy? Who, <laughs> no, who's creeping with the guy with no money, no gifts to exchange, and he's deemed unattractive? Somebody's creeping with him, but they're keeping it behind closed doors. No, 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 no. Creeping with him, and there's no exchange or anything? He has nothing to offer? And he's deemed unattractive, and he has nothing to offer. Somebody's creeping with him. No, somebody will showcase him that's on his level. <laughs> this is real talk. This is real talk. Someone will showcase him that's on his level or deemed to be on his level. But a, 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 a female who is deemed to be unattractive <laughs> has been with some nice looking guys. Right. I guarantee it. If not in the open, on the down low. Right. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. <laughs> I guarantee it. So why why do you think that is? Just because of the. I don't know. We, we just we the way we're wired. Um, see, even that girl is not experiencing rejection a lot. Right. But whatever guy you deem as most attractive, he's experienced a lot of rejection in life. Somewhere. Somebody just told him no. His parents, yeah. he wasn't good enough to make the team. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't get the job. He didn't get the girl. Uh, he lost a few fights. He, he's been rejected. These guys don't want him in their group mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. he's, he's dealt with rejection. But I think girls get a kick out of being liked and being accepted. Even with, with little girls, man, that really bothers y'all. When y'all are when girls reject y'all, when the yeah. group of girls reject y'all yeah. or don't like y'all, man, true. that messes up y'all psyche. That's true. 
Yeah, because even in elementary school, you have this group that you just want to be a part of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But with, with guys, we get rejected at an early age, man, mm -hmm. from kindergarten. You know, uh, these boys are grouped over here. These boys clicked up over here. And, uh, you know, that's, you may not fit in. Mm -hmm. You'll see a boy, <laughs> you'll see a boy off by himself playing in the dirt. He gonna make it happen. <laughs> he gonna make it happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he can't go home crying that nobody likes him. He has no friends. And he, he just has to deal with it. And so uh, what that does, though, that makes us mentally strong. Mm -hmm. So I don't think women are as mentally strong as men. Yeah, I mean, even, even if we're being told no. Right. I mean, sorry, if we're not being told no, we're still not handling that that rejection. It, there's still something that needs to be healed. It just is carried over. But is that the way it's just, is that the way it's just designed? Is that natural? That's just the way it is? Is that just the way it is? You know, uh, you know, I know women want to, want to compete with men in the job market, mm -hmm. um, in sports, uh, or what, whatever, man. They want to, not all women, but they want to compete with men. But you ain't wired like me. You ain't, you ain't been, you ain't been what, you ain't been through what I've been through. Right. You, you, <laughs> I've been, I've been through the fire. Right. Since, since I was, since I was, uh, since I was, in elementary. Yeah. And I can't pick and choose which problems I want to deal with. Right. <laughs> that men right. deal with. Right. And so what, what I see, what I've seen in women a lot of times when they're rejected, they never take ownership. It's always that person's racist or they're an a-hole mm -hmm. or she's a B. It's never, hey, you know what? They, they just ain't digging me. Yeah. Or I'm just not good enough. Or... I'm just not their type. That's that's just arrogance. It's arrogance to to not take ownership and right. put the onus on someone else. But because you may not be good enough, right? You 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 know what? You, you you may not be all that, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so that's that's a lot of arrogance, and that's why I say women have a big bigger ego than men. A bigger ego than men because y'all don't have to deal with rejection like we have to deal with it. In your lifetime, how many times have you been rejected by men? And I'm, I'm not talking about the relationship didn't work, uh, y'all exchanged numbers, talked, mm -hmm. there was no chemistry. I'm talking about where you wanted the attention of a man, mm -hmm. and you caught, a man caught your eye, and you maybe sparked up a conversation. He said, no, nah, no, no, thank you. Um, I'm not interested. How many times in your life? I don't recall any times where that has happened. I don't recall any times. That's not a shock, though. And you know how many times I've been rejected? How I many? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. From from elementary up until adulthood, I don't know how many times I've been rejected. Being told just flat out no. Yeah, just, you know, no thank you. Uh... I've never had anyone rude to me, but also I'm not a guy. I'm not a guy that hollers at a lot of women too. Right. Yeah, I'm not. I've never been that type. I'm a uh, even even in my single days <clears throat> going to the club or a bar or lounge. I'm more of a sniper. Huh. You know what I'm saying? I, I I'm peeping the two I like. Mm. Yeah, I'm not the guy that's going around the bar hitting on every hitting on every woman. Yeah, that's that's just not my personality. I'm t I'm picking out two, maybe two or one that I like, and that's that's who I'm going for. This this is me right here, and so I hadn't been rejected mm -hmm. as much as a lot of men, because a lot of men just they shoot their shot at a lot of women. They don't have a type. They right. just want to get laid or mm -hmm. yeah yeah that that ain't really me. Uh, but I had. I've been rejected quite a few, even, even, even saying that I've been rejected quite a few times. So how, 
was that dialogue exchange? How did that how did that go? It was it I've never had a woman be rude to me. Uh and let me tell you something, man. I grew up in an era where uh dark skinned guys were not in. It, this was before Wesley. Mm -hmm. This was, you know, the light skinned guy with the good hair. And if he had hazel eyes, man, that that, that was really you This know. was this was uh, the I'll be sure. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what the girls, you know, yeah. they weren't that light skinned guy. But you know what? That never affected me. That never affected my self esteem. Uh, I've never been afraid to approach females. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just, I, you know, I got a, I got a partner I grew up with. <laughs> you know, I won't say his name, but he was that light skinned bow leg dude. Short, light skinned bow leg. Yeah. But the girls liked him, mm -hmm. and I had my short girls like me too. But I'm saying the era. But he didn't have the confidence to approach girls, mm. so he would be like, he would be like, "Hey, book, go, hey man, I let, I let her tell, tell her I like her." You know, he didn't have the confidence. But they liked him. I've always had the confidence, mm -hmm. and I never, you know, I never thought I was ugly or unattractive. Yeah, so yeah, the whole light skin, dark skin thing never, never, I think that's never a affected in me. Itself, just having the confidence, because that that shows through. Yeah. So. Yeah, I've never been, you know, um, and that's helped me in life. Like, I'm never, I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to be told no. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that holds a lot of women back from pushing forward. Because you got, you got two choices, right? You got two choices when you face rejection. Give up or keep trying. Mm -hmm. Those are only two choices. Mm -hmm. Give up or keep trying. And you can say to yourself, I'm not good enough. Let me keep trying. Or I'm not good enough. Let me quit. Mm -hmm. Right? Let me get better. Or you put the blame on them. Mm -hmm. You put the blame on whatever outside of you. And you never own it. And you give up. Right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I think a lot of women play it safe. They play it safe. They don't want to face that, that rejection. No, but I can tell, you know, um, we may not deal with it in public, but I can tell you 90% of women have gone home, closed the door, and, and cried or mm -hmm. something. We let it out in some some form of fashion. About what, rejection? Just being rejected, yeah. Dealing with it. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it could be not just from, of course, not just from the opposite sex. Right. Or in uh, romantic relationships, but uh, career, work, yeah. uh, you know, opportunities, you know, it, it could be anything. Right. You know, but uh, yeah, it, it, it just takes a, a, a certain kind of mindset um, to push forward and not be afraid to fail and look crazy mm -hmm. and be told no. And so that's why I salute any brother, especially especially a black man. Uh, I salute my, my Caucasian brothers, my Asian brothers, my, my Hispanic brothers, my Latin brothers, you know, all brothers, right? I salute them who push forward mm -hmm. and think outside the box and, and go against adversity and uh, are not afraid of being told no. Right. I salute all brothers. But especially as a black man, when a lot of times that person on the other side of that table does not look like you. Hmm. Right? Yeah. And and so you gotta have another level of confidence. Mm -hmm. Right? As a white man, more than likely he he he's dealing with somebody that looks like him. True. In America, right? Right. right. But as a black man, I'm probably not gonna be dealing with somebody on the other side of that table that looks like me. Right. So my confidence has to be on another level. Right. You gotta push extra hard. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And and you know, I just gotta be prepared. Mm -hmm. And even if you're prepared, man, you gotta have a certain type of mindset that you might get rejected, but you aiming to win. 
And uh, if you do get rejected, you got to have that effort mindset. Effort. Hey, back to the drawing board. Yeah. I know one thing I, I, I love about you is that you have that, um, I mean, even if you, even if you are being told no, like you have an attitude where, you know, it, it doesn't surprise you. Yeah, I don't. It, I, yeah. You're, you're not letting it catch you off guard and make you uncomfortable. It's like, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Move on to the next. I move on. Yeah. I move on. Uh, but I've been groomed for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been groomed, and I think most guys are groomed for that. Uh, not all, but I think most are groomed for uh, the possibility of being rejected. And like I said, you got two choices, to give up or to try harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that's just what it is, yeah. man. You know? Uh, but... I don't think that'll ever change where women don't have a certain ego, this, 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 uh, you know, this arrogance, because I don't ever think it'll be a point to where ladies are told no, or females are told no, mm -hmm. or rejected as much as men. That, I don't think that'll ever happen. Right. I, I agree. <clears throat> like you, I, how, how do you go through life never being rejected by a guy? Like how do you, how does that even happen? But a lot of women can relate to that. No man can relate to that. Whatever man you want to think is the most attractive out there, he's been rejected by a woman. I guarantee you, he's been rejected. I guarantee you. I don't care who it is, Denzel, uh, who, 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 who whoever. Uh, Whoever the, the, the uh, Morris Chestnut, yeah, that's your guy right there. <laughs> Whoever, right? Mm -hmm. They all have been rejected by a woman, a few women. So we're, we're wired for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So women, I guess you got to toughen up. But I don't even know if I want women to toughen up, man. Y'all think y'all tough enough already. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> so, hey. We actually need to soften up. So, okay, there you go. That's enough. Soften up. Mm -hmm. And uh, stop competing with men because uh, we just wired differently. Right. <laughs> we, I've, been, I've, been, I've been on the front lines. I've been, uh, no, I've I been in the trenches. I don't want to be on the front lines. I've been I, in the trenches since, since, since the kindergarten. I don't want your problem. I've been in the trench since the kindergarten. Little <laughs> girls talking. Mm -mm. I know. Been on their front line. Mm -mm. I don't want to. I be. don't. I don't like you. I like. Y'all ain't never dealt with that. No. <laughs> or seventh grade getting didn't make the the basketball team. Look on the list. My name ain't on there. Hey, that's just the way it goes. Yeah. You know. So hey, it is what it is. I don't think we have a solution. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Man. All right. I don't think we got any answers. No, but this one, this one was. Yeah. This one had me thinking. Okay. All right. All right. As usual, from us to you, love. Go Cowboys. Peace. Peace.